Mix time. Let's introduce you to a really amazing kid. His name is Randy Hummel. He's 17 years old. He's from Minnesota. He spent every day, an entire year, camping outside. Okay, that's good in itself. Do you remember this year in Minnesota, the polar vortex? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, of course. Uh, listen to some of this. He endured a 76 sub-zero nights in a what? snow cave. He's a Boy Scout, and he's raising money for Habitat for Humanity. Crazy. He pitched tent, uh, and he, he he said the nights weren't so bad. Listen to this. He got down to 27 below one night, but his cave was hollowed out at a pile of snow. He said it kept the temperature about 10 degrees warmer than outside. He relied on layers, a fleece liner, in a mummy bag, in what? two other sleeping bags with three quilts. That's crazy. And he wore three layers of pants and up to seven what shirts. What does his mom think about this? That's I don't what know, I know, but he's a good kid and he raised a lot of money. And if that guy doesn't get the Eagle Scout badge, I don't oh know who does. Oh my goodness. He said the summers were worse than the winters. That's what? a tough kid. That is one tough kid. Whoa. Well, from cool to cold, polar bears. The U.S. Geological Survey has strapped on cameras onto the necks of polar bears. All right, cool. um, take a look at this. This Got is what that it. video looks like. Four females in the Beaufort Sea ice north of Alaska's uh, Prado Bay. And so this is what the video looks like. They strapped them onto those females. They want to look at the loss of sea ice from climate change. And what they saw were bears eating the icy ocean waters, trying to eat frozen seals and interacting with males. They're hoping that by releasing this information, it might help scientists understand the bears' nutritional demands and even their energy expenditure as the uh, sea ice is declining. Pretty cool video yeah. for sure. All right, from big, fierce polar bears yeah. to something a little cuter, let's roll the video. Okay. How about some running baby goats? No, that's not. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, not bad at all. Oh, put them boom. But I'm bump. Yep. Uh, I can't tell you a lot about this other than it's in Cumberland, Maine, and Sunflower Farm. And the moms needed a break, apparently. The moms uh, used uh, for making goat cheese. So the baby's got a little exercise. And oh the video is so cute that it's making a lot of waves up down there. It reminds me of my young children. Yeah. The energy they yeah. have. Yeah. Totally cute, right? <laughs> Absolutely. So big day today for Taco Bell. Okay. They are launching a new product. Read about this last week. Did it you looks really? Good. Yeah. Quesarita. Would you, would you eat this? Absolutely. So what you're looking at is a burrito filled with seasoned beef, rice, chipotle sauce, and sour cream. It's all wrapped up in a quesadilla, and it'll sell for between two to three bucks, roughly. Uh, it tested really well. It was their best-selling uh, product in a test market since the Doritos Locos Tacos, which did very, very well. You'd really eat it that? It looks good. Yes, really? I would eat that. Why not? I mean, I'm not no. going to eat it every day because no. I, you know, I like to stay a little healthy. But uh, <laughs> yes. I'm driving through and there's nowhere to eat. I'm getting one of those cases. I might bring you one tomorrow night just to Thank see. You. Oh, gross, John. Did you